Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and today taking a look at uh, some attacks from this most recent war, kind of a war recap, but we're going to see some of these new uh, Town Hall 12 attacks, uh, see those siege machines more, and get more of a feel for what's working um, now that we've had a chance to step back and do some more wars uh, during the weeks. So let's take a look first at some Town Hall 12 action. Keep in mind, Joanne is not a Max Town Hall 12 by any means, has uh, the Town Hall but no Town Hall defense. Um, I think some of the new defenses, but uh, mainly just a Town Hall 11 that's upgraded to Town Hall 12 pretty recently. And uh, of course, it's going to be the Witch Bowler getting it done here. And that's something that we're seeing powerful at pretty much all Town Hall levels. Now granted, this um, attacker doesn't have max offense, it looks like. Um, the King's not quite there, but besides that, most troops are, has the max Golem, uh, the Witches, the Bowlers, and then um, that Battle Machine, very tough through the initial part of the base. And the Battle Machine's so, um, it's called the Wall Wrecker, the ground version. It's so powerful because it, replaces the jump spells and allows you to bring more rages and heals on this witch bowler attack so anyway uh comes through this base quickly things die out but there's going to be this um the uh queen and the warden are going to still be alive with some witches on the outside and that level 60 queen is just so tough you can see like a baby tesla there um pretty clear that joanne has upgraded pretty recently mainly just focusing on offense um, let's go ahead and switch gears and take a look at one of our attacks um, Joanne's one of our only Town Hall 12s uh, that's begun upgrading and this one was very close so we'll go ahead and show it here. Um, this one using those new Electro Dragons and uh, I, I like it. It was a very cool attack and it almost worked here. Um, you're going to see drops down the Golem, only level 7 Golem doesn't quite have that maxed out. Um, it's going to tank for a bunch of defenses. They're going to send in the Wall Wrecker, the uh, Heroes, and funny enough, there's actually balloons inside the CC. And I like the idea here. Even though it's a ground CC, um, the battle machine they're in, the, uh, the balloons are air troops and just drops the rage. The balloons take out a few defenses around them, helping out the Heroes. I don't know, maybe Valks would have done more. It's kind of hard to guess, but that's an interesting idea, you know, taking the... Uh, the balloons that do a lot of damage to defenses and just plopping them down right in the middle of the base there, but using the uh, wall wrecker as the siege machine to open it up for the heroes. So interesting uh, idea there. Um, not only can you, in one of my videos I had previously, can you have uh, like Valks in the air blimp and drop them off in the middle of the base, you can also drop off air troops using the ground version if you also have like a ground-based kill squad. So anyway, freeze on the town hall there. I think that's a, a max level town hall. So wanted to get the, I think the Giga Tesla was up. I'm not sure. Um, the main problem with this attack is there wasn't any funnel at six o'clock. So the dragons are going to walk to the outside, target all the trash, the uh, collectors, um, those unnecessary buildings when ideally they should be going through the middle of the base and taking out defenses. Um, but you can see the Electro Dragon is very powerful. Um, the free spells, she brought a lot of them, so they're doing quite a bit of work. Um, still has two left to deploy. And uh, the Dragon's going to go for quite a while. We'll fast forward, but just not quite able to take out the base here. Um, yeah, that's when you get Electro Dragons in the middle of the base there, that's very strong because they're zapping pretty much all defenses. And um, you can have them, you know, be targeting three, four defenses at once with their uh, uh, their chain reaction ability there. So anyways, runs out of time, very close attack. A uh, few Town Hall 10s, don't really have any Town Hall 11 action, I don't think. Um, this one, I think, is a dip on a Town Hall 11, um, so we won't take a look at that. We'll instead um, take a look at number 6. We already saw my attack. Um, it was a live attack that I uploaded uh, a few days ago. Um, but anyway, this one is a very popular strategy we're seeing emerge. Um, it's just a, a small kill squad, just almost suicide uh, heroes. And then um, 
going pretty heavy on the hogs, but using that wall wrecker uh, to get the heroes in there avoids having to use a jump. On this base, a jump wouldn't even be necessary, but often on uh, bases that are a little bit better than this one, uh, it's a little trickier to get the queen taken out, but the wall wrecker um, can uh, make you avoid having to bring the jump, and that's that's why it's so powerful in my opinion. It's not that it, it's high in hit points or anything, but that um, I guess it helps that it's high in hit points. It stays up long enough to get through so many walls that um, you can basically bring one or two less jumps because of it. I wasn't a huge fan of the use of the golem there. It, it, I mean, I don't like bringing tanks inside the wall wrecker personally. I feel like they don't always get the full value um, when they deploy. I think you get the tanking value from the wall wrecker, then put like Valks or, or Bowlers. Valks are my favorite to put in there um, because I feel like you're just dropping a very dangerous, uh, those level 7 Valks can cut through uh, Town Hall 10 bases like butter almost. So I feel like that's a, a good thing to put in the um, in that siege machine. But I don't know. I, I can see the golem sometimes. The queen stays up for this attack. Uh, the hogs are going to have a bunch of skellies on them. So it has to use the heals. Actually has a rage left over. I think that was intended for the kill squad but just never used it there. Um, and then a poison for the skellies. Hogs are going to run around for a little while. Take out the remaining defenses. I believe, yeah, they just barely get those last few defenses with the help of the wizards and uh, finishes up right here. So nice attack to Schnitzel and um, we'll take a look at the Town Hall 10 on their side um, using the attack that I'm sure you guys have been seeing a lot. It is becoming very powerful at Town Hall uh, 10, but I think there's going to be a nerf coming um, of some form to try to make this uh, wall wrecker a little bit less powerful because it has more than anything made this witch bowler attack so much easier because you only have to bring that one jump and having that extra heal or rage makes a huge difference. Um, it also serves as a tank. This one used a few golems which we don't see as much anymore um, but it still worked okay and uh, especially if there's no healers it works fine because the main thing is the healers often lock onto the golem, so you got to be careful. But uh, anyway, the wall record going through. It doesn't even have to use the jump there. That was might maybe an early jump. Um, probably could have got away on this attack without bringing a jump at all, believe it or not, because the wall record is going to keep working, keep pushing through the base here, and I think it gets all the way to that back end inferno. Um, so the jump actually would have been nice to put right there to kind of open up the inferno, but. Um, they will get make their way as that wall wrecker continues to push through, and uh, the queen's going to be sitting back here, take that jump, um, get some defenses. Uh, one of the golems actually continues to walk around the base, which is very nice of that golem, tanking for everything in just a moment. Uh, pops the queen's ability, gets a few crucial buildings. That expo uh, was important uh, because now uh, most everything else can be cleaned up around the outside, including that Tesla farm. So we'll fast forward here because um, it's basically the golem ahead with a bunch of witches and bowlers behind. Actually, most of the bowlers died right there, uh, but there's so many witches, and they are hard to stop, especially because there's only one wizard tower left, and by then it's too late. Um, nice attack here to mini immortal, and uh, we'll throw in one town hall nine. Um, I know town hall nine not much of a uh, as interesting as it used to be. This is the main thing we're seeing, at least in One Hive Genesis, is three golems, just double jump, pretty standard stuff. Nothing too fancy, too flashy, just putting down a bunch of wizards to create the funnel, um, and then jumping through the base and using a few hogs on the rest. So yeah, that pretty much gets it done. Um, I don't think anything in this attack was really buffed in the update, but... Um, I guess the CC bowlers being level 4 is the main thing, which is definitely a significant change um, to Town Hall 9 because level 3 bowlers already were pretty powerful in the CC. So anyway, everything moves through, taking the first jump, there's the Rage, um, pushes through. That Rage might have been a little bit early, um, and also the heal, actually the heal is okay. It's hard to kill the level 4 bowlers, so they survive the giant bomb, the heal gets them back up. Um, and the push goes through pretty much the entire base here, and then just a few hogs on each of these remaining defenses as needed. 
freeze spell is also there. Um, the freeze and the scaly, sometimes the skeleton spell is a better choice because it can take out defenses. The main thing you want to look for is splash damage because the splash damage negates a lot of the power of the, uh, of the free spell. By the way, a few hogs would have been nice while those golemites were tanking, um, could have taken out defenses. The hogs were definitely very late on this attack, but, um, anyway, as I was saying, if there's, you know, wizard towers, uh, mortars, bomb towers, you got to be careful using the skelly spell, and that's when the freeze is better to get the damage off your queen, your hogs, whatever, but at the same time, uh, the skeleton spell can take stuff out, and the freeze can't do that, so it, it, it adds a little bit of firepower um, to your attack where you want it. You can take out uh, expos, inferno towers if they're already kind of low, so it's not automatically bring a freeze. Consider the skeleton spell as, as well um, when you're planning your attacks. So anyway, that will do it for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the attacks. Kind of a nice grab bag of attacks. And I'll get to some more specific videos. Maybe do an at attack meta video. Kind of just going through the best stuff at each town hall level. But for now, I'm going to have to sign off. And I'll see you guys soon. Bisectatron out.